Enter the Empress. <laughs> Nobody makes an entrance quite like Asuka. The following contest is an eight-woman battle royal. Making your way to the ring from Osaka, Japan. It always seems the higher the stakes, the more powerful the Empress becomes. Asuka is always on point. She can shut your lights out in the blink of an eye. And you've always got to be wary of the poison mist. Think of all the memorable clashes against Bailey, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch, just to name a few. Was invincible in NXT. Every bit is dominant on Raw and SmackDown. If you look deep into the eyes of Asuka, you can almost see your demise. Already a first ballot Hall of Fame career, but her accolades keep on growing. from San Jose, California, Bailey. The thing I love about Bailey is every word she speaks, every action she takes just says, I'm better than you. Well, she took the helm when she created damage control and now an all-out assault on the women's division and the WWE fans. I feel like Bailey's gone out of her way to show that she's on her own level now. All great leaders lead by example. Bailey's demonstrating, and the rest of the world should be taking notes. Well, if Bailey is such a great leader, tonight she's got a chance to actually back it up. One of the most anticipated matches we've had in quite some time, and this woman is the reason why. An up-and-coming talent in the women's division. Yeah, I'll tell you, a few women have the heart and determination of Aaliyah. And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Aaliyah! She has the quickest victory in WWE history, beating Natalia in 3.1 seconds. Hey, who knows, Michael? Maybe she'll break that record tonight. She's just so excited to be performing for the WWE Universe tonight. Well, let's see if that excitement translates to a win. The man has arrived. And the WWE Universe is on their feet. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. A woman who has devoted her career to elevating the women's division. Arguably the hardest working competitor in the women's division. And she's also a leader and she's a trailblazer. Became the first women's double champion when she beat Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania. 
Yeah, but every once in a while, that much confidence can be detrimental, especially when you're a target. Everyone wants to make a name off of the man. Here comes Alexa Bliss. And Lily, too. Yeah. And from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. It seems like Alexa is back from the dark side, but she brought back a friend, Lily. Uh, I wish she hadn't. Oh, don't be jealous, Saxton. We know your favorite doll recently popped. We are about to see five feet of fury unleashed. And that is bad news for Alexa's opposition. The Glamazon! is here and from buffalo new york the glamazon beth phoenix well the glamazon looks to be in a bad mood it is safe to say that the glamazon has inspired generations of superstars here in wwe i think it's safe to say that beth phoenix is no longer interested in inspiring she just wants to re-establish dominance She's also got bigger biceps than you, Saxton. Oh, wait, I haven't mentioned mine lately. Yeah, male or female, the Glamazon will wreck you. Just ask the Judgment Day, the Miz, Maurice, the list goes on and on. She calls herself the young veteran. Alba Fire. A woman with plenty of accolades, and she's just getting started. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Alba Fire. Titles in nearly every major women's division, the longest reigning NXT UK women's champion. She calls herself the forever champion, and she has indeed earned that moniker. A woman descended from generations of warriors. Fighting is in her blood. And there is fire in her eyes that cannot be extinguished. She's early in her WWE career, but Bianca Belair already might be considered one of the best. And here's the thing, she's only going to get better. You're right, Cole. It's actually kind of scary how Belair continues to keep topping herself.
The EST Bianca Belair always has such a big smile on her face. Well, that's just because Bianca hasn't realized you're down here yet. <laughs>